Good morning, Barrel Buddies. This is the league of April 12 through 18. Want to hear a joke? Why couldn't the p pony sing a lullaby? It was a little horse. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's check in with our special reporters to learn more about this week in history and some tips on being a barrel bud. Tomorrow, April 13th, is Ramadan. Ramadan is a very special month for Muslims when they fast, pray, and read the Quran. Muslims fast as an act of worship to get closer to God, learn self-control, and become more compassionate to those in need. Fasting is also a way to learn patience and break bad habits. To fast is to stop something for a certain time. During Ramadan, we go to bed at night and wake up really early in the morning. The earlier, the better. We eat and drink as if we were having lunch. This meal is called suhoor. But about an hour and a half before sunrise, we must stop eating and drinking. And the first prayer of the day starts. Afterwards, we're not allowed to eat nor drink anything till the end of the day at sundown. At uh, this time, we eat the free dates to break, our to break our fast and then start a big feast. This meal is called iftar. Iftar means breakfast in Arabic. It is called iftar because I think it is the very first meal of the day. Ramadan is a lunar month that lasts 29 or 30 days based on the setting of the new moon on the 29th night. Ramadan starts with a crescent moon and ends with a crescent moon. When Ramadan is over, we have a holiday called Eid al-Fitr. In Eid, we have a special prayer in the early morning called Salat al-Eid. Thus, we spend our time with families, go to the park, and do really fun stuff to celebrate. We wear new clothes and kids get money. In Egypt, it's called Erdaya, which we can buy new toys and have fun. We no longer have restrictions on eating nor or drinking, so we can eat and drink whenever we want. During Eid, we also make really delicious and special cookies. It is the best holiday of the year. On April 15, 1947, Jackie Robinson, age 28, becomes the first African-American player in Major League Baseball. When he steps onto Ebbets Field, in Brooklyn to compete for the Brooklyn Dodgers. Robinson broke the color barrier in a sport that had been segregated for more than 50 years. Exactly 50 years later, on April 15, 1997, Robinson's groundbreaking career was honored and his uniform number 42 was retired from Major League Baseball. Celebrations this week, April 12th, Hamster Day, April 13th, National Peach Cobbler Day, April 14th, Natural, National Garden Day, April 15th, Take a Wild Guest Day, April 16th, Wear Pajamas to Work Day, April 17th, Blah 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 Day, April 18th, Pinata Day, Barrel Buddies are brave. This week, we're focusing on the letter V. V stands for valuable. One way you can be valuable is reminding yourself that you are amazing. You can do anything. Positivity is a choice and you are prepared to succeed. And here's Dr. Sabatini with the principal's update. Good morning, Barrow Buddies. Hope you had a great spring break and it's so good to see everybody back at school on this sunny day. Um, just a reminder that we have a five day school week this week. So we will not be having virtual days on Wednesdays. We expect everybody to come to school on Wednesday and we're gonna have on school every day this week for students who are in person. Um, just reminders, it's always good to be thinking about this after we've been at home for a little while, that we are following safety protocols at school so that everybody stays safe and healthy. And that means that you should wear your mask, make sure you come to school with a mask and wear it all day and wear it properly. Make sure it's covering your nose and your mouth um, and that you have the right kind of mask on. 
making sure that you're washing your hands and keeping distance from people. And I think the part that's the hardest for everyone is in the cafeteria. When you eat lunch in the cafeteria, we have four chairs at a table and they're kind of spread out so that when you're eating without a mask on, you are not spreading germs at the table. And a lot of people at lunch say, well, I can't talk to my friends. And they try to get closer and closer and closer. But the idea is to kind of be separated during lunchtime. So um, try your hardest to work on that so we can stay safe. And then last but not least, make sure that you stay home if you're sick. So if you don't feel well or you have a fever, um, make sure you stay home and call the school and we will um, talk to your family about that. Um, we wanna welcome several new students this week. We have Aiden, Robert, and Marley who are all joining Barrow today. And so we're excited that they are coming to our school. And some students who are returning from virtual, Bella, Gabrielle, Tristan, and Rodriana. So welcome back, buddies. Glad that you're here. And then I wanna remind everybody that we are having our first virtual our first virtual STEM night tomorrow at 5.30. And many of you signed up in advance and we'll be getting a science kit to bring home. Those kits are supposed to come today. So you'll be able to bring your science kit home and you'll have all the materials to use um, for the virtual STEM night. If you didn't order a kit and you didn't sign up, you can still come to the virtual STEM night. You'll just have to do some of the activities kind of on your own with materials you have around your house. It's gonna be really fun, 5.30 tomorrow night. So we're looking forward to that. All right, let's check out birthdays for the week. Happy birthday this week to Braylon Harper, Gabrielle Sims, Honesty Thompson, Ramel Talbot, Omari Robertson, Joshua Collins, Yasir Mills, Amaya Norman, and Patrick Spaulding. Some shout outs we have. Ms. Arnold would like to shout out her class for all their hard work the last couple of weeks. There are a lot of assessments in fifth grade and everyone has worked hard to prepare for them. I'm so proud of how engaged everyone has been putting their best effort into everything that they do. Way to go, Ms. Arnold's class. Ms. Furtis would like to give a shout out to Nathan Edwards and Dan Van Conready for always having the materials ready for virtual learning. Ms. Seba would like to shout out Team 119 for working so hard to make our class really feel like a fourth grade family. You are all great at making others feel valuable and that is so important. Also, shout out to O Marguerite for winning a Green Life Art Award. Proud of you, buddy. And speaking of our Green Life contest winners, we had many winners in our school and we're super proud of them. There's gonna be an award ceremony next week. So congratulations to Rashid al Qadi, Leo Burnt, Max Selleck, Jaden Mulamudo, Poppy Odom, Jada Mueller, O Marguerite, Shaden al Qadi, Jasper Odom, William Willow Selleck and Arrow Callahan. Hope everyone has a great week at Barrow School. Here's a joke. How does the moon cut his hair? Eclipse it. Before we leave, let's say our Barrow honor code together. As a Barrow buddy, I promise to be fair, honest, and trustworthy, even when no one is looking, because that is the right thing to do. My good choices will help make Barrow excellent. We will now observe a moment of silence before we begin to focus all of our attention on thinking, learning, and working at Barrow School. <laughs> 